This is the Carib World News. I am Clifton James. A convicted fraudster has been elevated to the rank of superintendent within the Royal Grenada Police Force, RGPF, according to the New Today newspaper. They obtained official correspondence from the Public Service Commission, PSC, showing that the name Wayne Wilson, Assistant Superintendent of Police, is among 24 officers in line for promotion Friday at a ceremony to be held at the Special Service Unit at Point Salines in the south of the island. Wilson, from the parish of St. Mark, was convicted a few years ago in the High Court for involvement in a vehicle importation racket. The senior police officer who was involved in the importation of used vehicles pleaded guilty after evidence showed that he had tampered with documents in a transaction that he did with a client. According to police insiders, the investigation into the fraud by members of the Criminal Investigation Department, CID, were often frustrated by powerful forces, including a past commissioner of police and a special prosecutor with close ties to the current NMP government. A source close to the probe said that current director of public prosecutions, the DPP, Christopher Nelson, eventually gave the green light for Wilson to be charged with a criminal offence of fraud. Barbadians can expect wet weather conditions right into the weekend. In a weather information statement, the Barbados Meteorological Services said rainfall accumulations are likely to peak over the weekend as the combination of a trough system and a tropical wave is forecast to affect the island. It advised that intermittent scattered moderate to heavy rain showers and thunderstorms are expected throughout this period with rainfall accumulations of 3 to 6 inches and isolated higher amounts are possible. Antigua and Barbuda Prime Minister Gaston Brown and other government officials have welcomed a new university that will facilitate medical studies in Antigua and Barbuda. The ribbon cutting ceremony for the Western Imperial Medical University took place yesterday at Crabs Peninsula, where the Yida Special Economic Zone is located. Brown, in his remarks during the opening ceremony, said that major educational institutions such as this one will make a positive impact on Antigua and Barbuda's economy. We had long set a vision to establish Antigua and Barbuda as the financial and educational centre of the Caribbean. Certainly, within the last few years, we would have attracted three medical schools. We know that one established medical school has about 1,500 students, and those medical students make a contribution towards the socio-economic development of our country. Police in Nigeria have rescued 47 people from what they describe as a torture house in the northern state of Kano. The property in Kano City was supposed to be a rehabilitation centre. In other words, a privately run facility where parents send their children who they believe are addicted to drugs or engage in criminal behaviour. When the police raided the compound on Thursday, they found the 47 inmates, all male between 14 and 35 years old, chained up. They also showed signs of being beaten. Police spokesperson Abdullahi Haruna told the BBC that the owner and manager had been arrested and would soon appear in court. These so-called rehabilitation centres were banned by the state government 10 months ago after several raids revealed the maltreatment. You're up to date. Caribou News.